All right, hey everybody. Um, welcome to NKT Productions show. Um, what did I, what did we call it? The super amazing, the incredible super amazing video show review. Anyway, today is my day. Um, I'm Andy and I am the social media guy, but on top of that, I do a lot of 
video production graphics type of stuff. And based on Joe's um, stream from last week, he was talking about the different kinds of templates that I created for him for the show for brush pile fishing. And so today I am going to run you through a tutorial on how to create these templates in After Effects. We're just going to make maybe a board and maybe a lower third, but graphics that you can create as temp make, create your own templates so that when you're making things in Adobe Premiere, you can pull those in, reuse them and make your life so much easier. Uh, so without further also fragilities, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, I think that's all that I missed while I was doing my promotion stuff. Um, yeah, without too much more, we'll just go ahead and get started. Um, I'll just go ahead and switch our scene over and we'll get some After Effects going. It's going to be a good time. But to start off, um, and I haven't start, I haven't created it yet or finished it yet, but I'm also creating a tutorial on how to do this on our NKT Productions blog, which is blog.nktproductions.net. And hopefully by the end of the week, it'll be available. I was trying to get some gifts in there to help with um, visualizing how to do certain things. And just, I was having some issues with uh, size limits and then Photoshop started being I just need to clear out space on my uh, computer. That's, I think, it for that. Anyway, so I'm going to go from scratch. By the end of this stream, we will have created a lower third and another graphic to show how easy this is. And we're doing it from scratch. I'm not using any assets. If you wanted to follow along, you totally could. But I guess without, from there, let's just get started. So. I have After Effects already open and we're going to just, this is the default workstation. I just created a new project. It's a blank project. And so I'm just going to go ahead and create a new composition. So to create our template, we're just going to use a, I'm just going to use the regular 1920 by 1080 project preset, just the one that they have there. Um, I'm just going to use a 10 second. It doesn't have to be super long, however long you need your animation to be. Um, background color, I don't think matters. You can leave it at black. I'll uh, leave it at square pixels. Okay, so we've created our blank composition. Hey, Patty, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, okay, so we have our blank. Uh, so let's create the sources that we need for the template. So we're making, we'll start out with a lower third. To start out with lower third, we need a title. So let's just, this is a title. And then we're gonna create a second text layer. And this one, this is a subtitle. Simple enough, right? <laughs> um, Let's make this a little bit smaller so you can tell that it's a subtitle. And this is ultimately up to your creative design. You really don't have to do a ton with it. Um, we're just gonna make this super simple. This is 10 minute or 10 second. And then let's actually even add just a really simple line graphic on here. And we're just gonna create, use shift to make sure we have straight lines. Do that, and now we have ourselves a nice, nice snazzy graphic there. And I'll just kind of put that, we'll space out a little bit. But ultimately, that's not a not a terrible lower third just to have something there. So, um, obviously, we haven't animated it or anything yet, but from there. That's, I think, where we're going to go after that. We'll animate it first before we add our customizations. So let's just uh, do a very simple 
um, key on the keyboard is your physician. You want to use press the little um, time vary stopwatch. It starts keyframes for you. Uh, let's make about a one second intro, and then we're just gonna. I'm just gonna move this to the left. See, it creates a keyframe since I'm on the first frame, and then we'll add ourselves an ease in there, just so it's uh, so it looks a little bit natural, like that. And actually, I'm gonna add an ease in on that as well, instead of just an ease because a little bit the slowing down of the velocity makes it seem a little more natural. Um, and then we'll just we'll do the same thing and I'm just gonna keep it simple. And actually to keep it more simple, we're just gonna copy and paste the keyframes from one to the other. <laughs> that did not do what I wanted it to do, but okay. So then let's go to the one minute mark, hit our keyframes. We can do these together, go back to one, and then we're just gonna move these positions to the left. Okay, let's add our eases. Easy ease in. Okay, it's a simple, and then we're just going to then go down to the end where our where it's going to come out. And we're going to set another keyframe for all three layers, which is the little diamond underneath me down there. Push the button makes a keyframe. And then at the 10 mark, we're just going to move them all to the left. Put a little bit of an easy ease. that. We'll fix that. Beautiful. Okay. So now we have our looping lower third. So easy enough. Now, how do we get this from After Effects to Premiere? We've got a couple steps to go before we get to Premiere. So first, we want to make sure that we set an intro and an outro. And if you're not sure how to do that, I'm going to show you right now. So in your composition menu up top, there is an option that's probably, no, it's right above me. Responsive design time, create intro, create outro. So we'll create our intro. And then if you, one even, you can make it to wherever your keyframes stop. And then create an outro, does the same thing. You just move it to where your keyframes start. There you have an intro and outro, and that's gonna be beneficial for the essential graphics that we're going to do now. So in our composition, if you look, there is a title, there's a subtitle, and then there's this bar. What we want to do is we want to be able to change this title, change the subtitle, and I'm going to go one step further and change the color of the bar. That way, if you want to use this for three different things and they're all different color schemes, you can do that. So, easiest way to do it that I found is through this Essential Graphics panel. It's in the default view, so I'm not sure if you can't find it in your window option. Do you want to choose Essential Graphics? It'll show you right here. So we want to make 
we're going to make our motion graphics template. So in the essential graphics panel, you're going to go over here. You see primary, select the composition. Select the composition that you're in. I haven't named this one, so we'll just go with the comp one. And now we're creating a motion graphic. And then we want to, okay, so first let's grab the text. So let's grab our title layer and open it up. So in all of the, in After Effects, all of the things that you can change are in this menu right here. So what we want to change is the source text, right? So right here, there is a source text. You don't have to use the keyframes or anything like that. All you have to do, and Adobe has made this super easy, is take the source text, drag it up to the essential graphics, and it's up in this panel. So I'm just gonna put title in here. And then now we can, this is how to do things that would really help if you knew how to do them. Yeah, not a problem, Patty. Yes, it's my pleasure. This is what I do professionally and I like to share my knowledge. Um, in so where it says this is a title, I could put um, NKT Productions and it changes it to NKT Productions. So then we'll do the same thing to subtitle, grab its text, source text, drag it up. And then just to name it, we're going to name it subtitle. And then we'll put Twitch stream or something. I, it really is up to you. Whatever you want the default to be, you can do that. Um, then you click out of it. Now we have that. You can also click things like edit properties. If you want to allow the user or whoever is using it to enable custom fonts. So say someone wants to make everything in Comic Sans, they could do it. Wouldn't suggest it, but you could. So if you have like a brand that you wanted a specific way, don't have these sele selected. That's the same with uh, font size and faux styles. Uh, faux styles like bold italic, stuff like that. I'm just going to go ahead and allow those. See now in the essential graphics, it lets me choose font, what styles, and if I want to add any types of stylings to it. Same with the subtitle. Um, I'll go ahead and switch those. And then you see there's a lot of information right now. So one thing you might want to do is you can add formatting, which you can't see. It's right behind where my head is. You can add a comment or add a group. So say I want to group the title and subtitle together. Now I have this group or I'm just going to put text and then I can take the title, drag it in here. Same with subtitle. Um, and then you can minimize them if you'd like. Do that. Um, if you have comments, if there's something that you specifically want to say, like don't forget to use blah, 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 or like, um, you could even put your copyrights if you want it in there. Um, I'm using Mac and I know that there is a key for copyright, but I don't remember what it is. Uh, copyright 2021 NKT Productions. Right. And that way, People know who it's from. You can add your comments, do that kind of stuff. This is more for if you're not using it in-house and you're making it for another client. Um, one other thing that we haven't changed yet is the color of this little bar here that we made. So let's go. We're going to go into the shape layer. Uh, let's look in the contents. Uh, it looks like there's only one shape. So shape one, if you click it, making sure that it is highlighted. So we got our path, we've got our stroke, and we got our fill. Um, depending on what you want to change, if you have a stroke on there, you can use that. We're going to use the fill, open that up, and color. The best ways, if you look, 
anything you can put in here that down here um so i'll move the color and maybe change the name so it says bar color and then let's make it a nice red color and voila you have a lower third one thing you do have to keep in mind i use the manual just a um position to bring these in keyframes you want to make sure when you're making these animations that you want to make sure that they're all for whatever you're going to put in there let's even put them all the way back there since it's a keyframe, they'll still make it to their same spot in the same amount of time. All right. I don't think anything is going to be bigger than NKT Productions. Maybe if I put, um, actually, Scott in our team has a longer, longish name. That's less than NKT Productions. Okay. Anyway. So now we have our lower third. It runs. So let's make sure we double check these. Just like on the other side, we'll throw them out that way. So we have coming in, then we have this big empty space, which we'll go into when we get to the premiere part. And then outro. So it leaves. Awesome. So now that we have our lower third essential graphic, we can also look at find a spot where your graphics are the most noticeable or what you want them to look like. You can set your poster time for that. That way when the when you pull them up in Premiere, you can see what's on there. Um, oh. And if you're not sure what you want to put in your essential graphics, you can click this solo supported properties. Anything that you can put in the essential graphics panel will then show up underneath. So if you want like the tapers for the shape layer, uh, fills, transforms, uh, anything, you can do that through Adobe, as I said, has made it super easy. All right, so now that we have our title subtitle, and our bar color, let's export the motion graphics template. So export, project needs to be saved. Yeah, let's save it. Um, we're just gonna go to the desktop here and uh, Twitch stream with lower third, save. All right, and then it asks you where you want to save it. If you are creating for yourself, you can use your libraries, templates, and such like that. Uh, your local templates folder would work as well. For me, when I was making these brush pile fishing ones for Joe, I made them in our local drive, and I'm just gonna put this in our desktop as well. Um, it defaults the title name to whatever you put in this name. So if you leave it, to comp one or whatever is on there. It'll say comp one until you browse. Um, good practice is to name it first. That way when you export it, it's a lot easier. Um, you can, for compatibility purposes, if there's issues, you can have Adobe warn you when that kind of stuff happens. For keywords, if you want to make them easier to find, in Premiere, you can do that. So like if I put lower third, uh, Twitch stream, whatever. Okay, so now we can export this lower third. It's been 25 minutes. Easy enough. And now on our desktop, you can see 
our lower third right here. Anyway, so now that we've got that, let's move to Premiere. Since we have a lower third, let's just make a Twitch stream lower third. We'll just create a new project. And then for um, simplistic purposes, I'm just going to go up here to the graphics tab and change our uh, layout so that, and you can see the lower thirds that I created for joke show up on the right side. And so now we're going to import the lower third that we made in our After Effects program. So we go down at the bottom right, there is an install motion graphics template, it's a little square with a plus. You press the button and then it's gonna open a thing. You go to your, wherever you saved it. There's our lower third dot mogurt. You open it. And now you see right here, we have our lower third. It looks just like we did in, it did in, from, in After Effects. So let's just create a sequence. Sequence one, we'll just leave it like that. Let's throw in some bars and tone, why not? So you can see there's stuff above it. And I'm just gonna get rid of the audio because audio. All right, so then we have our thing, it's a, and then the easiest way to do this is just gonna click your lower third in the panel and drag it to wherever you want it. It's gonna load the template See, that didn't take long at all. And now you press play. It pulls in there. And zoom out. Beautiful. Okay. And then, so now, you remember all that stuff that we added in After Effects to change? If you select the lower third on there, Oh, it auto switched over to the edit panel in the uh, essential graphics. You can set your title so I can put um, Andy Bundy and let's even change. We'll make it luckiest guy font and NKT productions as our font and let's make the bar color one two three a b a b c it's a blue color okay so if i press play then the font has changed the bar color has changed and the text has changed one thing to note too because we created the intro and the outro in after effects the way that there's no animations in between, what we can do, say this is a, what, 10 second project, but I only created two sec one second of intro, one second of outro. So really, I could make this a four second. If you look, then it'll come in. One second, two, three, four, and it goes out. Because of those intros and the outros, um, it'll expand or condense that uh, graphic template and it will change based on as long as that last second and that first second's in there, it'll be fine. Ooh, excuse me. So that is the very basics of creating a motion graphic template in Adobe After Effects. And now we're going to go into when you have to add things like images, it's pretty much the same thing, but I wanted to make sure that we touch on some of the stuff and also be cognizant of your backgrounds too. So if you're looking at this lower third right here, there, I could probably use a drop shadow or a stroke or something because the NDY in my name is being hidden by this white in this bars and tone. I mean, obviously I can get rid of it. Or just, yeah. 
put a, you know, color mat. Let's pick a, like, black. To put the color mat, mat there for now. But just keep that in mind when you're doing this. So, let's head back to After Effects. I'm going to do that. Bring back to After Effects. And we're going to create a new composition. Where we're going to make an info board of sorts. So, say you're making a review show. And you want a third to the right right that has an image and then text for all the things that you're working on so i am going to just let's make a let's make ourselves a rectangle i'm going to take the opacity down to about 50% um, we'll make sure it's flush with the side. And then we want to add a couple things. We want a title. So again, we'll put title in there. Let's center this one up. Make sure it's centered so that when we make our template, it'll stay centered. Beautiful. And then we want a picture. Now, I don't have any pictures imported right here, but one thing that Adobe After Effects does include, you can import placeholder. So basically, let's make a... Um, actually, let's decide how big we want this first because that's going to make a difference. So let's see. We've got... Um, easy way to do this is just let's make a box... What are the dimensions of it? Um, I remember how to... I could mask it, but that's not how I want to do this. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to see... Transform. It's, well, let's just do 600 by 400 because, okay. So that's what it's gonna look like-ish. So let's create a placeholder and it's gonna be 600 by 400. And I'm gonna name the placeholder um, hero image. Press OK. And now you see in our project, we have a bars and tone thing that says hero image on it. Let's click and drag it and we'll set it over. OK. We're going to also have to move it a little bit over so that we can uh, give it a little. And it's, and think of, as I said earlier, keep in mind where you're going. If you're on TV, you know, make sure your action safe title stuff is on there. Um, I could, you know, move this over, move it over a little bit. The anchor points in, out there for some reason. Okay, and then you know, move our hero image and title. And, you know, if you just want to do a quick align, use the align layers, do something fun like that. You can add some sort of stroke if you want. Let's add like a white stroke. Maybe a couple more pixels. So you can see that they're there. Oh, right. Uh, full, 100%. I remember things now. Um, let's make, let's actually, let's do this. We're gonna keep this at 100%. We're gonna take the fill, make that a 50%, and then make the stroke a 75, just because I'm 
feeling. We're just showing a little different, a couple of different things that you can do with After Effects. Um, let's put some more font stuffs in here. Uh, we're just going to put line, we're going to put one big line or one big paragraph thing that people can write in. Actually, no, let's make a line one. Lorem Ipsum. And we'll keep them centered. Let's make them a little smaller. And then I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate, move down. Uh, let's change that to line two. Uh, duplicate, move down. Make this a line three. And then duplicate, we'll make a line four. Simple enough. Um, and we can use some, we'll use some animation presets in this one just to kind of show that it doesn't work for just positions and such. Uh, let's pull out some animation presets. Ooh, we could add some, you know, pixels to the background. Yeah, make it cool. We'll pull the animations. Doo, 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 doo. Let's grab some paint on for this one. So that it just kind of that did not do what I wanted it to. It created that mask. Just do some Venetian blinds. There we go. And then we're actually just gonna make this a simple fade in. So one second, start at a hundred, move to zero. Simple enough. Um, oh, interesting. Is the five second mark where it's going to loop? I can't tell. One, five. Kind of. Kind of not really. Um. We could actually, uh. This we're gonna move that to the one second mark where our thing starts, copy it, and then we're just gonna actually paste it. If it'll let me. Nope. Okay. Starts at one thing you don't want to do is um, I've noticed with some yeah that's what I wanted. I always confuse After Effects, Effect Controls panels with Premiere sometimes, thinking one thing is another place and it's not. Um, okay. Yeah, we're just going to take some of these fractal noises. Can I copy you, please? A 
copy, paste. Okay, then we're gonna move you to that nine second. Close that. Uh, let's create our intros and outros just so I have a kind of an idea of time. We're gonna create a one minute just or one second like we did before. And a nine second. So one minute outro just like the other. Okay, so we've got ourselves. Oh, just curious. Okay, we're actually going to take this fractal noise and do just like we did with the other. Just trying to figure out where everything is. Um, pick these two. Copy. Paste. Let me and then okay, not so much. And copy paste. Perfect. Move those to nine min or nine seconds. Perfect. And then let's take the opacity as well to the shape layer. And at the nine second mark, let's just do a nice fade out. So we're getting a little complex here. Actually, let's do that with all of these. Create a keyframe and over here, set them all to zero. Okay, so then we get back over here. We've got our graphic. This one has animations with it, as well as four lines of text and a placeholder image so you can put whatever image you want on there and a fade out. Simple enough. Okay, so let's get rid of our essential graphics that we had from our last project. Actually, close comp one. Let's go to comp two. And we'll create a sidebar essential graphics. And we'll find what we want to change in everything. Okay. So for example, we're going to leave the shape layer alone because that's the background, which I can rename to background. Background. All right, so title, text, source, text. So this is title. Um, hero image, all we have to do actually is take that whole layer, move it in here. Um, the image has some difference where you can set this kind of scaling depending on what kind of images, if it's scale to fill, scale to fit, stretch to fill, or no scaling at all. Typically I do a scale to fit just in case you have something that's not the, quite the right aspect ratio. It doesn't stretch it and make it weird. And you get the whole image in the picture. Uh, line one through four, we'll just grab the source text name them as such, do that for each of these texts. Line three, and line four. Okay, so now we have our title, our hero image, and the four lines. Um, let's actually just, we'll get rid of, since we know what's in each line now, we're just gonna do this. 
And for this one, I really don't want people changing the font for this. Keep it the same. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I need to add to this? I don't think so. I could group the lines together if I wanted to. Add our comments if we wanted to. So like. 21 MKT Productions. And we have another graphic. So let's go ahead and export it. Go ahead and save. Um, okay, yes, 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 yes. Local drive, sidebar, and we'll just put sidebar animated. And actually, if we wanted to do it before we start, Let's pull out the solo supported properties. I want to try something. Um, let's scroll down to the background. Okay. So say I wanted to change the colors of this. Highlights, midtones, and shadows because it's using a tritone. And we're actually going to group these together just for fun. And let's just get rid of, we can highlight midtones and shadows. Leave that there. Oh, they're supposed to go in there, in that group. It's more for organizational purposes. All right, let's export the motion graphic template. All right, so motion background four line, whatever you want to put in there. All right, so now let's head back to Premiere. Grab and install our sidebar motion graphic. Sidebar.mogur. I didn't create a poster image for it, so it's not on there, but we can pull that in here. You see there is part, okay, actually I'm probably, because it's so, um, it probably needs to have a color map behind it so you can see. Yeah, because it's at 50% opacity, that's why you couldn't see anything. Um, I'm curious, if we make this shorter, what's going to happen to it? I actually don't know. Um, this is actually going to need a little bit more actual rendering power than our simple lower third from earlier. So I'm just going to let that do that real quick. If you guys have any questions about NKT Productions, Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, feel free to leave them in the chat. I know I've been kind of talking for most of this, but this is also kind of an Ask Me Anything if you have anything that you want to know. Especially regarding video production, I also am, uh, you can talk to me about social media as well, or anything else like that, feel free to do so in the chat. Or you can, you know, tweet us at nkt underscore productions, do all that fun stuff. Now we're waiting on rendering every, every editor's life. Okay, so notice it made the, the little sides in between the intro and the outro faster. So say I move the sidebar faster than how it was originally made, it's going to have to render again because it has all this most extra motion to it. And that's the thing, the more complex that you make a lower third or a motion graphic in general, the more it's going to take to render when you do things like this, especially if it has background animations or things like that. But while we're waiting on that, I also need to grab a logo and I'm just going to.
Okay. We're back. Sorry about that. My uh, phone was frozen and I didn't realize. But yeah, talking about NKT Productions. Uh, we do a bunch of different live events in which we're um, going to keep you informed on where we're doing, what we're, where we are, what we're doing on our social media. So make sure you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Twitch. Got a lot of socials for NKT Productions. And we're waiting right now on our template to render. I'm not sure how much you missed on how long my uh, camera was frozen. We got about a minute and a half, allegedly, before our we can show. One thing that I don't know if it showed or if I you could hear me when I was talking about it. The side or the motion graphics template speeds up and slows down based on you have your intro and your outro, and it'll change based on how far or how long. As long as you have that intro and outro, it'll keep everything in those normal and then stretch out or speed up whatever's in the middle there. So, for our example, with the motion graphics in the back if it's a shorter than normal the animations in the back will be a little bit faster and i'm assuming i'm testing it right here with this if it's longer it'll be shorter or it will loop i'm not 100 percent sure and so that's what we're testing it okay here we go yeah it looks like it loop or it slows it down so we've got our lower third it has our names custom image and in that last minute it fades out just like it's supposed to so you don't need to you can add animations you can add anything you need to if it looks good in after effects it'll look the same in premiere whatever you drag over and it's fully customizable to whatever it is that you put in there I think this is a really nifty tool and I think this is something that as we create more like we have brush pile fishing which is our crappie fishing TV show which if you're unfamiliar you can use the information mark GPF in the chat and we'll tell you about a little bit more about that but as we create episodic ep shows like brush pile fishing using elements like this and this I you've been able to make motion graphics like this for a while but in the, one of the more recent updates, Adobe has made it super easy for people to find this and put them together as well as the, I'm pretty sure the drag and drop into the essential graphics panel is fairly new for After Effects. So that is a brief, brief overview on how to make motion graphics templates in After Effects, how to export them and how to import them back into Premiere and use them for your video projects. Um, doesn't look like there are any other questions, but um, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Anybody who's been involved, um, we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream just because I've been here about an hour. I've taught what you needed. Doesn't look like anybody um, has any questions. So Join us tomorrow. Scott will be, I'm pretty sure Scott will be the one joining us. Check the schedule in the Twitch channel um, schedule. <laughs> and we will see you tomorrow. Again, make sure that you're following us on all of our social media. And I hope to see you tomorrow. And if you've missed any of this or you want to go back, we're going to export these to our YouTube channel, any of our past streams, and you can watch them there. So with all that being said, my name is Andy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you later.